Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We currently have the 15th pick in the draft and are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you ever badmouth them or not give 100% out on the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? Oh, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Home of brotherly city love, home of Jive Turkey, iPod King Carter, and in another time to mention, my boy Shake play for y'all and he's beasting? I got to roll that Philly, son. I want a cheesesteak. I want to meet hard eight times. So I definitely got what it takes to play with y'all fellas. Yeah. Okay, last question. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? No doubt about it. It's the NBA, baby. It's where dreams happen. I got to be one of the top, so I'm feeling pressure every time I touch the ball because I don't want to mess up and disappoint the fans and disappoint my team. So definitely, pressure Okay, I there. think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. Hello and nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the Rockets. We are strongly considering drafting you with the 12th pick in the upcoming draft, but we'd first like to ask a couple questions about how you'd fit in here before we take that step. First question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. And I'm going to say, damn, your voice deep as hell. But for me to improve just all around gameplay, passing, dribbling, shooting, being a team player, Anything to know more other person what I need to do. You feel me? Alright then, one more. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Man, I want my legacy to be great. I want people to know me after I'm gone. After I'm in the dirt, people are going to be like, I'm Nomad, came through and tore the game up. He really changed on how we play the game. Um, he elevated everything. So yeah, that's what I want to be. I want to be a champion and have lots of rings, holes and tricks. Great, those answers were music to our ears. With any luck, you'll fall to us in the draft. Hey, how's it going? Good game tonight. I'm the scouting director for the Bucks. We have the 14th pick in the draft, and I'm considering using it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick, if you don't mind. With our backcourt combination of Brandon Jennings and Monte Ellis, we feel we have a lot of scoring potential at our one and two spots. It also means it'll be a battle to see the floor with those two on our team. Are you prepared to fit into a rotation with them if it means you might not get all the minutes you feel you deserve? Man, hell no. I ain't want to play with y'all, man. First of all, you sound real sneaky. And Milwaukee Bucks? Man, nothing but bucks out there, man. I, I don't think I'll fit in too well. Y'all go ahead and do y'all thing, and I'm going to do my thing, and hopefully somebody else pick me up. Nah. Next question. We realize that here in Milwaukee, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Miami. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a Milwaukee Buck. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a Milwaukee Buck. Are you that person? Dude, look, I told you. I don't want to play for y'all. I don't want to be a buck. Y'all ain't got no cities. Y'all got them but bucks. Deers. And probably country girls. Uh -uh. No. Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. Thanks, nigga. Got ya. Oh yeah, draft night, baby. It's time to do the thing. It's time for me to make my mama proud. I gotta do it. I gotta dream. Good evening and welcome to the 2012 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, 
Tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis from the University of Kentucky. Ah, congrats, homie. Maybe get the eye line fixed up, yeah. With the second the pick in the 2012 NBA chomp, chomp. Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Michael Kidd Gilchrist from the University uh, of yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, yeah, headache, son. Good luck, homie. With the 15th pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select the 20-year-old point guard from the University Yo, of Georgia. Yo, gonna play for Philly, son. What up? Gonna get me a hoagie press off, son. Cheese steaks, here I come. Mama! Look, Mama, I'm on the billboard, son. I'm staring at everybody. I'm Nomad here.